Besides from while loops, for loops are another popular looping structure. In Python, a for loop executes a code block for each element in a container, and this container is, is either a list or tuple, a dictionary, or a string. When you're looping through a list or tuple, the loop variable is each item in the list or tuple. When you're looping through a dictionary, the loop variable is the dictionary key, which corresponds to a value. And when you're looping through a string, the loop variable is each character in the string, accessed by an index number. And you can also loop backwards by using the reversed function, which reverses the order of elements. So let's try out some examples of for loops in Python. First, let's try looping through a list of names. For name in, then we have our list, Kanye, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. And then for each one of these names, we're going to print name. And don't forget the colon at the end of your loop, for loop statement. So let's run this code and see what happens. So it just goes through the list one at a time and prints out each name, just like that, Kanye, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. If we change it to a tuple by using parentheses instead, it does the exact same thing. Let's try looping through a dictionary using for loops. So let's create a dictionary called basketball players. And we'll set 23 to Jordan, 33 to Pippen, and 91 to Rodman. So the numbers are the keys and the names of the basketball players are the values. So now we can write our for loop for player in basketball players print using f string we'll print out player and let's put in the key value right there is and then in here I want to print out the name of the basketball player so let's write the name of the dictionary and pass in the index which is going to be at the key value player which we're getting from right here. And let's see if that works. All right, so here we go. Player 23 is Jordan, player 33 is Pippin, player 91 is Rodman. And then let's loop through a string for C for character N. Let's say some let's type any string in here. Michael Jordan print C and you will see that it will print out Michael Jordan, each letter on a separate line. So we're actually looping through the string where C is each character in each loop iteration. Let's try out that reversed function. Reversed Michael Jordan. Just do it that way. Let's see what this is gonna do. So notice that Michael Jordan is now written out one letter at a time in reverse order. Originally, our basketball players printed out as Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. Let's see if reverse does anything there. Reversed basketball players. Now it's printing them out as Rodman, Pippen, Jordan, so in the reverse order. So that just shows you that you could reverse whatever it is that you're looping through using a for loop using this reversed function. So yeah, that's it for for loops. Thanks for watching the video. Also check out my video on while loops as well.